Okay, I, I want to. I, I don't want to be uh, guilty of the crime of letting you go without without uh, like like like. Is, is is there anybody in the audience who has a question? Not specifically about the show, or just anybody. Raise your hand if you, you're really burning like a question to ask Genevieve. Uh, uh, like like whether it's about reality TV in general or or the show. Someone's raising their hand back there. there. Right. Who Aaron McGathey to the stage. At the everyone. last minute, as far as I was. So we, hey. everybody that watches reality shows knows that there's two components to it. Basically, there's this sort of pseudo coverage of everything that's happening. Mm -hmm. And then you're constantly cutting to these VH1 talking heads yeah. against a green screen. And, and they seem relevant they, 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 because mm -hmm. if you guys are in costumes, then you're, you're, you're in, a, in the same costume. Mm -hmm. And that's probably not faked because yeah. also emotionally... Like, very often, people are crying in those talking heads. So when do those happen, and how do they get okay. you into that slaughterhouse? Well, so what happens is, first of all, I don't, I don't know how other reality shows are. I felt a lot of ours was honest to the spirit of the drama. Honestly, they have to edit a lot out, and everything gets changed. But the spirit of what happened is was pretty honest overall. It, however, for the talking heads... That was a sort of frustrating situation for me because you might not have realized this. I'm a person who gets really focused on something, right? And I'll be working and I'll be focused in on this. And at some point, they realize that if we pull Genevieve out when she's really focused on something, we get really great off-the-cuff comments because I'm so snappy, I want to get back to work. So I start getting really snappish and kind of grouchy. Can, 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 we, can we do a thing? Can you... Sh me, let me be you. Okay. And you be, like, is it like a okay, producer so with I'll a clipboard yeah, that pulls okay. you aside? Can we do a talking yes, to Genevieve? I can do this. Okay. okay, all right. So I'm Genevieve. Okay. Okay, now do you want a moment in the show or do you want me to do, like... We're here. And Genevieve, Genevieve, I'm, 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 you're yeah. catching me at a moment when I'm, okay. I'm Genevieve and I'm, yeah. I'm writing a fantasy yeah. novel. Dan, Dan and Aaron, you guys do a scene. Like a, you're, 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 yeah. you're, you're in the kitchen yeah. talking about stuff and then, the, and then Genevieve will pull you out as a producer, Dan. Okay. Okay. Is that when it happens? They pull yeah. you right no, out? No, well, it, yes, for the most part. Out of, out something of a situation happens, of... Like, let's say you have a drama and you have a fight with somebody. Okay. After that fight, the second it's resolved, there's somebody there going, come on, okay, we're going to okay, go okay. talk about this. All right, so we'll start from, I'm doing dishes. Washing well, a dish. Well, are we going to do a real scene? <laughs> yeah. I'm Genevieve. Man, that's, oh, yeah, 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 guys, we Jesus doing Christ. Us. Dan and Aaron, for, just for the sake of this experiment, just try to manufacture a, a conflict between the two yeah. of you. Just manufacture yeah. conflict, yes. Yeah. Just, just strictly for entertainment She purpose. broke a dish. Go. Oh, I broke Oh, okay, that's good. Okay. And it's a dishwashing competition. Is this dish broken? <laughs> this is my, my special uh, Batman dish that I brought. I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I didn't, I'm sorry. Well, did, were you going to wait for me to find out that it was broken? When did no, you know it was broken? I don't know. I, I just didn't want you to get upset with me. And I, 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 okay. C CG dick. <laughs> <laughs> well, Patrick, I'm, 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 I, I, I'm I, I only brought one dish. We're being Dan and Aaron. What? Well, Jeff is giving uh, a certain direction. He just, la is he just labeled you Patrick, though. He just labeled okay, you. Okay, fine, fine. Um, I'm Aaron. I'm your girlfriend. Jeff just, here's what happened, Dan. So now we what can talk the about fuck this is thing. going on? <laughs> Jeff wanted us Genevieve, to just pull them out of their real lives and give them a fucking. <laughs> okay, this is me giving him the hand signal. Shh, come on, come on. Oh, okay. okay, all right. Right. And and now you never talk again. Okay. Hey. Wow. Hey, Dan. Ha ha. Hey, Dan. How are you feeling right now? Um, I, I'm frustrated uh, just uh, because of the broken dish thing. And well, also, well, I didn't understand what the fuck anyone was doing. Okay. Well, will you tell me what happened in well, your own words? Well, I, I, I had agreed at the forefront that we were going to do like a reenactment. Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop you there. Can you say it in the present tense, please? Oh, right, 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 right. Uh, I, I, I'm like, I'm, I'm agreeing to do a thing uh, that's like a reenactment of a reality show. I, I want to play Genevieve. And then other people are piping up with their comedy. And uh, it's just a little frustrating because no one's listening. Like, there's not a lot of listening going on. And there's, I'm supposedly on stage with, like, like professional improvisers. Okay, so you're telling me nobody's listening. Can you say that in a more concise way? Nobody, but... Nobody's listening. Nobody's listening. Nobody's, nobody's listening. I don't know. Nobody's listening. Hello? Hello? Nobody's listening. Okay, okay. That's great. Now, can I take you back to this morning when you and Aaron, I'm going to remind you that you and Aaron were having breakfast, yeah. and she took your eggs. I saw her reach over and grab something off of your plate. 
Now, you how saw did you that? feel that? How did you? I mean, I thought it feel? was weird. I, I wait, didn't, wait, wait. I didn't, I didn't mind say, at the time. I didn't wait, mind. Wait, can you say the question while you're answering? When Aaron took my eggs, uh, <laughs> I didn't think it was a big deal. So that didn't bother you? Well, I mean, I, I guess you don't it could have bothered me. You don't think when that... Aaron took my eggs, it, it, it seemed like it could have bothered me. Okay. So you don't think maybe it was indicative of the fact that she doesn't respect you as a partner? Um, <laughs> sure, I guess so. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm sorry, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, just restate the whole thing. Um, when Aaron took my eggs, I felt like it was indicative of her not respecting me as a partner. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. <laughs> All right. Well, Gen- Genevieve, you're a fantasy author. I want to be able to plug your stuff because uh, so I have a series of books called The Song of the Silver Tongue series on Amazon, Genevieve Pearson. And right now I have a, a Kickstarter for HobbyCon 2014 in Pasadena, California. So if you have a hobby or craft you want to show off, HobbyCon. It's like an all inclusive hobby. It's convention. like a grassroots pre Gen Con. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's for anybody who's a nerd or a doer, if you like to knit or paint Warhammer oh. 40K, anybody who likes to do stuff, this is like your Olympics. All so, right. Awesome. All right, HobbyCon <laughs> and uh, look for Genevieve Pearson. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, Google Google the name. She's got Amazon. she's got two books she's very proud of and one that she's uh, fine with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she should have won. won. So okay, brain cancer. Uh, thank won. you, Genevieve. Thank Thanks you. for coming down. Thank you so much for having me. All right, let's work it out now on stage. I don't want to... <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, Jeff... Jeff suggested that we played ourselves and simulated a fight. I didn't hear that, that, I didn't that say part. that. I said that. Oh. I, I was saying, I was setting, I used you guys' names to set up the thing, but like. Oh, I see. I thought, well, then I right? misunderstood. I'm sorry. A lot of mixed signals. Look, I'm not here signals. to make friends. <laughs> like, could you say. You, I'm you, here to win. <laughs> <laughs> That's another theme in reality shows: is every single person alternating. But when they're when they're on top of the game, they're they're like, it's not business, it's personal. Or, or I'm sorry, the other way around. That's, not, <laughs> That's I mean, what I, I would do. I'd the, be like, I don't care about winning. <laughs> Who said they didn't like me? <laughs> um, so, so Genevieve, when you were up here right now, pretending to be a producer, and you got in the middle of that conflict, how did you feel about that? <laughs> I'm feeling a lot of stress right now because I don't like having to mediate between a couple. Okay, can you make that more, more succinct? Say, 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 like, say, say, I, the... I'm feeling a lot of stress having to mediate between Dan and Aaron right now because I'm in a healthy relationship and I just feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> can you, can, that, that was good. Can, can you say it again, be a little more succinct and also add something racist into it? Well, I can tell that Erin has a fiery Irish temper, and that's why she is having such a hard time. We'll be right back. <laughs> Genevieve Pearson. Wow. We got to the bottom of the... That's what I was hoping we could talk about, is the, uh, the, the, the reality show source code. Yeah. Let's make it an open source project. You at home can make your own reality show now with that source code. Uh, 